Hello everybody and welcome back to more political chatter. In this video we will be talking about um, this fundraising data that we have from the FEC, from the Federal Election Commission, and um, how we can use it to determine right now where the 2024 election is going, and um, even more specifically about this perennial candidate. John Anthony Castro from Texas, who has this massive war chest of $20 million and has raised the most money of all the presidential candidates. Now, I am uh, will start off by saying these candidates will eventually surpass $20 million. Donald Trump is at $18 million. Joe Biden is at 12 million. Vivek Ramaswamy is in fourth with 11 million. Um, right behind Biden. Nikki Haley is at 5 million in fifth. Perry Johnson, who um, I don't really know how he's raised this much, but he has 3 million. I don't know how John Anthony Castro raised that much. I don't know if this is counting candidates' um, own, um, own um, you know, like self funding or what. But, um, anyway, uh, Tim Scott is in 7th at 1.6 million. Uh, Roland Roberts, the state senator from, uh, West Virginia, is just right behind Scott at 1.2 million. Marianne Williamson is at just under a million. And then, um, we have this guy, and then the rest are just unknown. There's Howie Hawkins, I guess we know him, at 35,000, but he just announced Steve Laffey at 139,000. But anyway, um, um, taking a step aside from John Anthony Castro, and of course we're going to talk about him, um, just looking at the rest of the candidates, uh, I also want to say that candidates who have not announced, um, before when, before, March 31st, so not a candidate of March 31st, so that's DeSantis, Elder Hutchinson, Scott, uh, and Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Um, those candidates do not have their fundraising numbers out um, because, you know, they didn't, they announced after the deadline, which is probably pretty smart because you don't want to have a weak showing for fundraising. But, um, but so that is why DeSantis is not on here. That's why Elder is not on here. Kennedy is not on here. Um, and who else was it? Um, uh, Tim Scott and Ace Hutchinson. So um, this is how we would think it goes. Uh, I mean, Donald Trump, of course, is raising so much money. The two front runners uh, of the nomination, um, apart from John Anthony Castro, are both raising the. Um, most money and second most money, again, not counting John Anthony Castro. Uh, Vivek Ramaswamy, I mean, I would think this includes self-funding because Perry Johnson is at $3.7 million. Vivek Ramaswamy is at $11.4 million, both of which are uh, millionaires and easily can self-fund their campaign. Um... Uh, and then, so, I mean, th there isn't much surprise. I mean, uh, I would think that Marianne Williamson um, would raise more. I'm shocked that Roland Roberts has $1.2 saying that he's not even on the list of other declared candidates and not on the table. Also, Wikipedia doesn't even acknowledge him. I don't know why they don't, saying that he is a state senator and, he, you know, he holds office. Um... And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty normal what we're seeing right now. We still have a long way to go. Um, after the debates, this will change a lot. I mean, the candidates who always have a great, you know, viral performance in the debates always have a flush of, or not a flush, <laughs> a rush of donations. So, you know, that could be Nikki Haley. Also, that could definitely be Vivek Ramaswamy. He could raise a lot after the, the, the debates. Who knows? He could be in second, first, whatever. Um, but um, right now, this is how we would expect it to go. But I mean, good showing for Vivek Ramaswamy. I do want to say that he's at $11 million. So this is a good indicator of where uh, the race stands. But 
Um, then we have John Anthony Castro, who somehow, I no one has talked about this at all. I looked up articles about this. None exist. But according to the Federal Election Committee, he has raised exactly to the cent $20 million. So where did this all come from? I mean, look, when he announced his candidacy, and I saw his name in this little other declared candidates list, uh, and I went on his website, you know, it was obvious that he had some money. Looking at his website, um, he, looking at his website, he had pictures of this quote-unquote rally that he did that is so clearly, like, staged. Like, I'm assuring you guys, these are just all paid actors that he hired that could come and stand here for this photo. I mean, I'm sure he didn't give an actual speech. I mean, this is all fake. Uh, we would have seen the video. There's no video of this. It's all it's all fake. Um, so my point, you see, there's like all these pictures of this. Where was it? Um, geez, there were a bunch of photos, but I don't know where they went. Um, but the point is, uh, you know, a candidate who has no money doesn't do that, okay? So, it, my point is that it was kind of obvious that John Anthony Castro wasn't some random guy running for president. He has money. He paid all these people to do it. He has this online store with so, like, maybe hundreds of items, you know, for a, for an unknown candidate who has an iPhone case, a literal backpack, a a baby cap, the most random items, and it goes on, an, an apron, all these um, strange items. So it was obvious that, sure, he had some money, but I wasn't expecting $20 million to be raised under his name. And because there's no information about this, I do ask the question, is it all his? Or have people, have, you know, some millionaires, businessmen, maybe that he knows contributed to his campaign. Um, because I wouldn't think that, you know, John Anthony Cash, sure he, sure he has money, he's a tax consultant. I mean, he's not like a, I wouldn't even think he's a millionaire. He's just a tax consultant and a perennial candidate. So I wouldn't think that he has $20 million and that he would contribute $20 million to his own uh, presidential campaign. So I'm wondering, where is this coming from? Who does he have? Because this is not like he's in fifth or sixth place, like, oh, John Anthony Castro, he has some money, he has some people contributing good to his campaign. No, he has raised more money than Donald Trump, than a former president, than the incumbent president, Joe Biden. All these people, he, of all of these people, Nikki Haley, Tim Scott, senators, presidents, Donald Trump, Joe Biden, John Anthony Castro, this unknown guy who doesn't even have a photo on his Wikipedia page, um, he has raised the most money in this race. And something else that I think is pretty important and interesting is when we go to which or when we go to the spending of candidates because when you look at this list with his 20 million dollars John Anthony Castro does not even appear in the top 10 John Anthony Castro hasn't spent a dime well he did for his website that's it and those paid actors that is all he has spent i think we would have to be gone do we even see him yet? No, we don't. There's Corey Stapleton. Corey has spent four thousand um, dollars. But um, I'm just gonna keep going for my own. Um, see, we're, we're at the zero. He has not. I mean, I guess they didn't count his website because I guess that was before he announced his candidacy and it wasn't using campaign money, maybe. But um, uh, John Anthony Castro hasn't spent a dime on his presidential run, even with his $20 million. Well, Donald Trump, you know, Donald Trump raised $18 million. Sure, he spent $4 million. And you see 
Trump commercials now. I even have in here in Connecticut, which isn't even an important primary state. You know, you've seen Trump、um, with all his huge events that costs millions of dollars. Um, with all of his campaign merchandise, whatever, and he has spent four、uh, million dollars of his eighteen million. With all that you hear about Donald Trump, he's only spent four million. And John Anthony Castro has more money than Donald Trump currently in his campaign, and he has not spent any of it. And the question must be asked. When will he do something with it? Because it's not just going to sit there forever. He is waiting for a time、uh, to use it. Okay, and、um, he could do something big if Donald Trump has done all this with eighteen, with only four million dollars. Joe Biden has, you know, done his whole campaign everything with only eleven million dollars. John Anthony Castro can do so. So much with twenty million dollars. So I really wanted to talk about this. I know none of you even know who John Anthony Castro is. I mean, I'm sure a few of you do, but、um, a bit more. I didn't even go into info about him.、Um, again, he's from Texas. He's a tax consultant and a perennial candidate. But he is just running basically、um, to stop Donald Trump from winning the nomination. He's like pushing lawsuits against Donald Trump. He's an anti-Trump Republican. So anyway, as I was saying, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That would help out a lot. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.